Hey guys, this is Jacob Slanix with Sunnyside Chevrolet. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of the new software on the, our 2019 Chevy models. Uh, they did demo this software in our tracks for 2018. Um, they did clean up a lot between this one and the, the MyLink, which is nice. Uh, I'll go over different variances of each application. So now we will start at the audio part. Um, you have your typical settings of AM, FM, and Sirius. If you hit more, your Bluetooth settings there, I will go over how to connect your Bluetooth as well. So we'll keep that there. One thing that I do like is this strip up here is your favorites. You can actually save any channel from AM, FM, and Sirius, and it'll save to that bar. I do know other brands. You have to change between these uh, tunes to see your favorites but this one if i want to save an fm up here it'll show up even if i'm in the am section it just makes it a lot easier to move back and forth um, between different uh, am fm and serious channels uh, you got your tune button here you can actually dial in the channel that you want to listen to 96.5 is a local channel that we listen to in cleveland um, as you can see it'll come up and now, like I mentioned, you can actually save it up here and it'll add to your favorites. If I go to Sirius, turn that off and hold this down, it'll save that. And if I go to an FM, you can save it up there as well. So it's very easy. It makes it a lot easier to access uh, your touchscreen and change your channels. Sound options, you can change your bass, your mid range, just for a different sound quality in the vehicle. Uh, this particular vehicle that I'm in is the 2019 Chevy Equinox Premier. So it does have the Bose speakers and it is very loaded. These speakers sound very nice in this vehicle. Uh, the two arrows changes your tune so you can kind of go back and forth with stations. Like next you would go to channel 60 in the Sirius. Mute is your middle button there. Now you can go back to the home shortcut on the screen or down here to go back. You can go to phone, you got your emergency contact there, or you can connect your phone. Mine's not connected to this vehicle. So to go ahead and connect, you would hit connect here, and then you would hit add phone. And you would want to make sure that on your phone, your Bluetooth is on, and you will see the stream of my Chevrolet come up on the screen. You would hit that connect, and there would be a, uh, I believe it's a six digit code that comes up you want to make sure it matches on the touch screen and on your phone and that'll properly connect it bluetooth um, that way you can make calls you can access your contacts um, there's a lot of great features phone so we're going to cancel that go back yeah, you can see contacts uh, you can connect different phones you can connect two phones at one time now now this vehicle here like i mentioned is a premiere so it does have the sun sound and navigation package. So as you can see, not all vehicles come with this part, but navigation is very clear, easy to see. You can search where you want to go. You got fuel parking. So a lot of great options there if you do have the navigation package. Voice commands. Go back to home does have a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. You can access that, change your password. Um, first month when you purchase a vehicle is free. After that, it is through OnStar and AT&T for the Wi-Fi hotspot. Let's see, we got users. So you can access different profiles, like I said, and customize it based off the drivers, which is very cool. You can create your profile settings your traditional settings time phone networks language you can change up the apps if you want your apple app android carplay to show up different settings all throughout you got teen driver setting valet mode again these are just all different options for the vehicle Apple CarPlay and Android CarPlay are standard on the 2019 models. Um, basically what you would do 
is plug in your phone. I personally have an Apple, so I would take the USB port that I charge my phone with. I plug it into the vehicle in the USB port here, and then I plug it into my phone. It would ask for access, and then you get a lot of different uh, menus based off the phone that you're using. Um, if you don't have a vehicle navigation, you can actually access Google Maps and project it onto the screen here. I'll probably have to do another t tutorial on that one so you can actually physically see it. Swipe over here. You got different applications to download, um, your OnStar services and your camera. I'll go over that real quick. So this one, with it being a premiere, you got the front facing cameras, you got the rear. So this one, you can actually access the different cameras. <laughs> you can see there's many. If you're trying to attach a hitch, so there's tons of different cameras on this um, for safety use. Backing up, this one's really cool. Kind of watches your sides to see how close you are to things. You got the trailer here. So you got a, you got a lot of great features for the backup camera on this one in particular. It's not standard on them, but this is a Premier as I mentioned. Hit back. Also, another way to access that backup camera is to actually put the vehicle in the reverse. As you can see, that'll come up. If you swipe over this way, you kind of got a cool little menu screen here that you can access everything. If the phone's connected, you'll see everything here for the phone. You can change your channels. Oh, my bad. And then you got your maps over there. So it's like a dashboard with everything on it. You can see the 4G LTE down there in the corner, temperature, your time. So with the infotainment 3, they did change up the face overall look. To me, it's a lot easier to use um, for a lot of people. It's a lot it's user friendly. Um, people can learn it a lot easier, I believe, um, between the mind link. We did have several people that do get confused. It's a lot of different technology for some people. Um, you had to do have the shortcuts down in the corner down here. So you got your phone, Bluetooth, your home button. So yeah, many different options. Uh, it's very cool, very easy to use, as I mentioned. OnStar services. So yeah, if you have any questions for me, please let me know. As I mentioned, we are in a 2019 Chevrolet Equinox Premier model. This vehicle itself is available at Sunnyside Chevrolet in Elyria, Ohio. Just giving you an overall tutorial of the new infotainment section. Lots of great features. Uh, if you have any questions, as I mentioned, please message me. You can give me a direct call. 440-212-5348. If you'd like to call the dealership, just ask for Jacob. Please like, subscribe, comment. I take any feedback I can get. I'm still new into this. And everybody, please have a great day.